We need more policemen to be able to monitor this. People living along a Cedar Rapids street put up these signs calling on drivers to slow down and for police to increase enforcement. Now this all stems from a crash that happened along Williams Boulevard in mid-March. Now two people, as you well know, died after the driver lost control of their car and hit another vehicle heading in the absolute opposite mm. direction. And we're talking about this section of Williams Boulevard Southwest right here to give you some area of where this is. Here's Jefferson High School and also First Avenue splits off into Williams Boulevard. That area in red, they see people are just going too fast, too often. TV9's Brian Tappick spent several hours right in that area monitoring traffic over the weekend. He joins us now live. Brian? Beth and Jim, I spoke to a number of people living up and down this roadway who say that people speeding is a constant on the weekends. They believe that police aren't doing enough to slow them down. I used a radar gun to monitor speed myself this weekend. And this is what I found. Car after car at different times over the weekend, we caught dozens of people going 40 miles per hour or even faster along this stretch of road, which is posted for 35 miles an hour. Probably at least once every five minutes. It's pretty often. It has to be monitored. It's, it's out of control. The fastest speed we found was 51 miles per hour. 16 over the posted speed limit, even a Cedar Rapids police officer going 40 miles per hour. Anything over 35 is too fast. That's the speed limit. Neighbors posted these signs up and down Williams Boulevard to the point where it joins First Avenue, part of a call for police to do more to deter speeders. I feel like it helped a little bit, you know, um, Right off the bat, people were slowing down, but I still feel like there's still people out there that are racing up and down the streets. The Cedar Rapids Police Department said in a statement that it has a number of different tools at its disposal. That includes placing extra officers on the street in high-speed areas, deploying a mobile trailer that monitors and displays vehicle speeds to passing motorists, and posting extra signage when appropriate. But the statement didn't say if any of these operations were being used on this stretch of road. In fact, data the police department provided shows the number of tickets written by officers has gone down dramatically since the speed cameras were turned back on in July of 2019. In 2018, the last full year where the city didn't use several speed cameras to issue tickets, Cedar Rapids police officers wrote 1,783 citations for speeding. But last year, police wrote fewer than half of that, 660 tickets. Police say those cameras were installed to allow officers to, quote, expand the areas where our officers can actively patrol and maintain public safety. But the statement didn't offer an explanation on why that expanded patrol has meant fewer speeding tickets. This is a racetrack here, right? This tracks right here. Back here on Williams Boulevard with each car passing. People living here want to see drivers following the posted speed limit to prevent another accident like this from happening. Police did not comment on that officer squad car that we clocked going over the speed limit. However, they did say that people who have complaints can call the non-emergency number. That complaint will then be handed over to the traffic division. In Cedar Rapids, Brian Tabbitt, KCRG TV9 News.